uh, here, if we go over to this install link here, we click it, we have our installation page. I personally use macOS and I've already got it installed, but I've set up a brand new Ubuntu server for a demonstration just to show y'all how that would look. And so distributions, uh, you can see that it, it pretty much runs on all popular operating systems. It has a lot of ways to install it. Uh, we're gonna go to GNU slash Linux, and scroll down and we have the uh, Ubuntu here. So I'm gonna copy this. And I'm gonna open iTerm and this is the new uh, server. I'm gonna copy and paste that. There we go. And then copy and paste this. Let's wait for this to complete. There we go. We're gonna install now that we have the, all that installed. We've added the repository so that our operating system knows where to look, and we've updated it. The we've updated the mapping, and now we can actually install Erlang, which is what Elixir is built on, and we hit yes so that we want to make sure we install everything this might take a bit depending on your system all right uh we'll come back when this is complete okay so we're back and it's completed now let's go ahead and install elixir by pasting that last command. That's it. We have now currently installed Elixir. Now you will need to confirm that it's installed and to see the version that's installed. For that, you just type Elixir dash V and there we go running on Erlang OTP 24 and the version of Elixir we have is 1.12 so we definitely got Elixir installed so great um, now we can jump into the basics of Elixir and we're gonna do be doing that in the next video we're gonna be walking through the data types and how they work stay tuned